This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Okay, happy weekend. I have a really busy video to film today. More content for you guys, a lot of work for me. So let's just get into it. We have a ton of unboxings of quite a few different kinds of products that I'm really excited about. Let's get into it. I actually bought one of these already, but I bought it in the smaller size and it looked way too dinky. It did not suit the space. So I changed it and I got the bigger size. So I'm trying to go for a theme on my Instagram of light blue, purple, lurple, pink, like maybe a light pink and a medium pink, sometimes a dark pink, and then mint green. I started doing just all purple and it looked really nice, but sometimes it can get a little boring and I feel like I'm kind of known on Instagram as at least for my old setups, just having like really colorful RGB. So I want to bring that back a little bit. I still want to have more of a theme than I do now or just in general. We'll strictly only use leather mouse pads now. They are so superior. They're way easier to clean. They last a lot longer and I didn't know, but this also has blue on the side. I already have one almost identical to this. This used to be my favorite color. When I was a teenager, I was absolutely obsessed with mint green. So this is, this is really nice. And I think it goes well with the, with the wood tone. Ooh, it looks good with the purple. I will have this linked below. This is just from Amazon. I have a pink, purple, and blue one, and I've gotten, oh, and a beige one, and I've gotten all of them from Amazon. Cute. First one that I'm going to unbox is I got this new P400 short throw mini projector from AXA. I think that's how they're pronounced. I, in my last room, I got a projector already. It was much bigger than this one. The quality was not there, so I returned it pretty quickly. And then the leak happened, so I moved into this, and now I don't really have a giant wall to use. But we have been planning to get another projector soon anyway, so I'm gonna decide whether we put this permanently in the bedroom or if we're gonna make space and buy a screen green in our living room. I think that would be really fun. This is what we're working with. I'll show you, you've got some controls. It looks like it might be touch because there's no physical button at all. TF card, not sure what that is. This is where your projection comes out of. And 1080. I know you guys could probably say, oh, just get 4K, but my last one that I got was 4K and it was not. It was not great quality. Plus like a lot of the shows I watch are like 720. I watch a lot of older shows and I don't watch a lot of stuff in 4K. Okay, so it comes with this little tripod, very lightweight, pretty standard. We've got the remote not sure oh, okay so these are your controls for I guess like the type of angle the connection so we'll play with that later I don't know where I can put this in my room to test it out I have a little sliver of a wall that way but it's daylight so obviously we're gonna get to that portion later tonight to test out oh I didn't even show this side of course a, a cube has four sides so we've got your HDMI input not sure what this scrolly thing is we'll check once it's on you've got an on and off button here if you want to put headphones in just plugged it in and a red light has come up from the front. I might have to come back to this later. So here is me setting it up. I want to preface that I couldn't figure out how to make it smaller because it literally filled my entire room. I know the largest size goes up to 100 inches, but it was bleeding into my pillows. So maybe in another video, I'll have it figured out by then. So this thing is really, really cool, but don't expect the quality to be this incredible 4K type deal because of the price. For its price point though, I will say I think it's great and it would make an awesome Christmas present because gaming on this is just chef's kiss. It just feels so immersive, it's awesome. I've gotta say right out of the box, the focus of this is so great and so on point. Like I've spent so much more money on another projector before and all of the corners were so blurry that I couldn't even play games with the UI like The Sims because I just couldn't see anything. But but this really is like an out of the box, plug and play, everything's just ready to go. Out of the box, it's a little washed out, but you'll see what a difference it makes to just play around with the saturation and brightness settings. After plugging it into my computer instead, I noticed certain things that had too much contrast just wouldn't show up at all. So keep that in mind. Again, don't expect this thing to look like a hologram, but I'd say that this is definitely more for casual use like movies and gaming. You might've seen this trend go viral a couple years ago. It was so vibey. I highly recommend doing it just for this reason. It looks so good. It's so cozy. It's so calming. So I loved it for this. Thank you so much AXA for sending me the P400 short throw projector. I love it. It's so fun and I'm gonna have a ton of fun gaming on this. 
just want to give a little honorable mention. Gobi sent me their new TV backlight, the T2 version. However, unfortunately, I got sent the wrong size. I only have a 55 inch and a 65 inch, and I was planning on using this on my 55 inch TV. So I'm not going to open this. Like, I'm not going to take it out of the box just in case they want me to send it back. And if they don't need me to send it back, then I'll have a little giveaway across my Instagram and YouTube channels. Uh, so you could win this if you have a much bigger TV because the lights won't look the same. Like, I technically could put it on my 55 or 65, but the colors won't line up, so I don't even want to bother risking it. So, stay tuned for that. Uh, probably in the next setup upgrades video, I'm going to have the new version. So, also, don't look at my nails. We've got a big boy package because Kingston sent me a really cool, like, swag bag along with some new RAM. Got the Beast Fury 3600, 32 gigs at 16 gigabytes each. We also have awesome RGB. Really excited because I am gonna test these out of my main PC, but I'm also planning on building a mini ITX build so that I can game in bed. So this is perfect for that. I just need to finish getting all the other parts. Just a quick fun look. We've got a notepad. <gasps> Sockets. I love pop sockets. I cannot. Am I the only one that can't use a phone without a pop socket? Like I literally, I can't. I can't hold a phone. Little post-it notes. Feels like an Easter egg hunt and Christmas all in one. We've got a cool mug. What are these? Are these like glow sticks? I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's consumable. <laughs> so I'm gonna look into this. <laughs> and a nice pen. Can never have too many pens. Thank you so much, Kingston. I'm super excited to test out the PC. I'm gonna hold off on putting this in my PC because I've been having the kernel 41 issue on my computer since I got a new GPU. So I've just bought a new PSU and I bought the Lee and Lee strimmers. So we're gonna kind of revamp my computer a little bit and I'm gonna put those in once I do PSU swap. So stay tuned. Another honorable mention, I just wanna give a really big shout out. They are not like telling me or paying me to do this at all, but I wanna give a shout out to Nikon. They sent me their new Z30, Z30, I'm Canadian, whatever. This is their newest mirrorless camera that is really great for creators. It's geared towards content creators. So highly recommend if you're just starting out and you're looking for something to shoot content with, you just want better quality than your phone, highly recommend looking into this. I'm gonna permanently be putting this on my L-shaped desk that's behind me because I want a top down view for unboxings and this is gonna be that camera. So I'm very excited. Thank you so much, Nikon. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. So I just bought a new Govi Aura. I haven't had one of these in almost a year just because once I moved it broke and I just bought one off of Amazon and they actually sent me a used return one. So I'm hoping nothing's wrong with it but it seems to be okay so far. I just felt like I needed some more color in this corner. I was looking at old photos of my other setups and I always had a balance in light on my desk. So this corner was lit up, that corner, the upper corners and this has just been been so dark on camera so I'm hoping that this can help a little bit more this looks like they have more presets eating dots that one's new this kind of looks like Pac-Man obviously it's darker in person this is just my camera but he's eating that's actually really cute Hey guys, before we begin, I just want to say, first off, mind if you can hear my computer blasting off into space. I got this MacBook in 2013. It might make some sound. So before we continue, I just want to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Interestingly enough, I actually get a lot of questions about what I do for a living. So I'm a graphic designer and a web designer on the side, not on the side, my full-time job. And then on the side, I do content creation. So even though my day job is pretty big, I also consider content creation to also be a pretty big part of my life. And Squarespace has made it really easy for me to showcase myself kind of in an online portfolio. They have some really interesting features specifically for content creators as well. So for instance, it's pretty much time for me to update my stats. It's really easy. Everything is drag and droppable as you can see. And once you're in edit mode, everything's just super intuitive and really user friendly. Okay, quick break. My computer is in fact blasting off, so I just need to charge it. So for instance, if you offer different kinds of content, you're a streamer, you're a YouTuber, you post on TikTok, but then you also let say you sell stickers or you make merch. They have a ton of new features specifically geared towards content creators that just makes everything so much easier for you to deal with all on your site. You can offer members exclusive content and you can charge them either a reoccurring fee, a flat fee, or just for free. On top of their actual website builder being drag and droppable, they have so many templates for you to choose from so you can really express your brand and customize it exactly how you need. You can hook up all of your socials so it displays all of your content in one place. You can sell things directly on your website 
website, let's say stickers, and they actually have third party apps built into the website already. So if you want to outsource your stickers and get them made somewhere else, but you still wanna manage all of your orders on your site and through your site, you can do that with Squarespace. I'm seeing this is a new feature called custom merch. They actually took my website logo already and made a mock-up on a t-shirt. So this is really cool. I actually use Printful on Etsy, so this is really handy. I can just log into Printful through my website and I can start making and selling merch directly through my site. Comment down below if you'd be interested in something like this. I do draw on the side a little bit and I of course have an iPad for me to do digital designs and artwork. I sell a wallpaper already so this would be great for me to sell it through my site but let me know if you'd be interested in something like stickers. I don't know. So if you've always wanted to create your own website then head on over to squarespace.com slash astronuggy for a free trial by clicking my link in the description. When you're ready to launch your site because you used my link you'll get an extra 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much again to Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of the video. So I finally got something to put all of my keyboards on. I'm gonna be putting more of my Sims 2 and Sims 3 games in there. We've got some keycaps, we've got my Nikon, my Gravistar speakers, and then I tried to do like a color scheme to make them match a little bit. Like I wanted this to be more pink. It just ended up doing its own thing, but I love them. This is the Billy bookshelf from Ikea. I did not expect the wood to be this nice. Like it honestly perfectly matches my desk, which is also from Ikea. Please excuse the mess. These nano leaves were in this place of the bookshelf so now I think I'm gonna put them on this wall right here it really does help to project light onto my setup so the bottom shelf I still have to work on I have to put more books I have like probably three times more books in my den I'm gonna figure out a way to put them in there but this was also meant for like random storage it's crazy because this is officially all of my keyboards but I'm still getting more so I don't know I'm gonna have to find like a splitter shelf in order to like double the amount of space because like look how much space I have up here it could definitely be filled. Okay, this is a keyboard from Dare You. I clearly already opened it because I've been using it. I unboxed it on Instagram. It is the A98 Esports in Industry Gray. Just quickly show you what is in the box. It comes with some cables, it comes with some extra keycaps. So right now the theme is like white and gray, but then there's also yellow keycaps. If you just want a bit of color. You've got your standard manual and everything, and then I believe this is the cord. Yep, so this is quite a thick cord to be honest. Beefy, they've got their logo. Side. So it's got 98 keys, you've got your typical two different height settings on the back, USB-C. Now, I gotta say, I've been really enjoying this keyboard. I love the way it sounds. So they've got a notch on the side to control like turning it on in wired mode, Bluetooth mode, or 2.4 see that it's flickering, it's RGB backlit. There is a little LED screen that's flickering right now because of my camera, but it's not actually flickering in person. So this displays your battery life. I've been using this plugged in this whole time, so you'll see that the battery is 100. I'm gonna put the rest of the stats on the screen, like battery life and whatnot, but this is hot swappable, and of course you can customize the keycaps as well, which I'll probably do. Honestly, I really love this board. I'm not crazy about the color. I really hope that they release more neutral colors 
colors, like even just the white, because this is something that I will probably reach for a lot just with the way that it sounds, but the color doesn't really suit my theme. So if I'm feeling risky one day, I might spray paint it. I have spray paint now. Exhibit A, this is what I'm planning to spray paint my portable monitor with. So uh, there are a lot of like little notches and windows that might make it difficult, like especially this whole thing and even the notch. There's just a lot of detail on this keyboard, so I'm not sure, like I might mess it up. I might, <laughs> I don't want to, that's not the goal. But if I'm feeling daring, uh, no pun intended, then I might spray paint the board just so I can like fully deck out because I love the way it sounds. I recommend, I will leave this in the description. Check them out. Thank you so much, Dare You, for sending this over. Since I've only been using it in wired mode, uh, this is a really cool spot. Let me turn off the keyboard so I don't touch anything. Right here on the side is where they had the USB. So that's really cool. Something I did have to do was swap the Alt and the Windows key just because for some reason it was the opposite on my computer. The RGB is on right now, okay. Perfect, there we go, that was instantaneous. So now we've got two modes and then I can quickly do Bluetooth as well. So far, super responsive. This is the thing when you have too many keyboards. On my actual Bluetooth like manager on my computer, I have no idea what anything is called. And like, does anybody else have just 20 USB receivers for keyboards and mice and you have no idea what they pair it to because some people, unlike Dare You, their USB had their name on it, their logo on it, which is helpful. Usually it's like a control or like an FN. Unfortunately, the instructions aren't in English. I take a wild stab and just start pressing things until one of them registers. I think I found it. Oh, it is. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, so now we're in Bluetooth mode. Super responsive. Oh man, okay, uh, this. Oh, okay, it made it red. So this little bracket, I have no idea what it's called. This changes, you can cycle through, so this is like a nice teal. Can you see that on camera? I cannot. This pink one, and then this goes back to rainbow. And so those are the color cycles. You can either do a flow of one solid color or you can go to the rainbow setting, which I prefer because it's fun, why not? And I'm seeing some other controls that maybe controls the lighting. So let's do, oh yep, yeah, so the brightness of the RGB is with the up and down keys in the FN. Quite a few keyboards don't have the page down and up keys, which I use for the Sims specifically. It's what lets you go up and down between like the house stories. So this is really helpful. And overall, I just really like the way it sounds and feels. So I'm excited to customize this so it feels more like me. But again, I will leave their link in the description if you wanna check this out. I think there are two more colorways in the keyboard and they've already sent me a couple new keyboards to test out, which are on the way in a couple weeks. So you'll see those. Just want to close out the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. The next video I'm going to be showing off the L-shaped desk that we made and I'm going to be upgrading my PC with a new PSU in the Kingston Ram and a Lee and Lee strimmer. These cables are fine but I think the the strimmers are going to be right there so stay tuned. It will probably look really cool and then we're probably going to do a little bit of organizing so stay tuned and thank you again. See you next time.